This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. For sure. So, uh, man, good stuff. Looking forward to that tonight. But let's jump into what we're here for. And, uh, man, we're coming down to the last few episodes of the year for Grilling JR. And you and Conrad and me from time to time have really taken a deep look into uh, to 2001 uh, this year. And what a year it was in wrestling. You had ECW closing down, WCW being bought by the WWF. You had 9-11 and everything that entailed that. We talked in detail about the year Chris Jericho had. We did Chris Jericho 2001 together. That was a, a fun show. And everything in between, JR. And today, we're putting a bow, a bow on the whole year. This is the 20-year look back as we discuss the final pay-per-view of that year. It's a WWF. That's right. They were still F, Vengeance. And, uh, JR, it wasn't always called Vengeance. It was historically called Armageddon, but because of 9-11, the pay-per-view was renamed to Vengeance. Do you remember anything in terms of the decision-making that was going on around that in terms of the rebranding and changing over to Vengeance? And was this was a marketing? Needed. Yeah, it was, it was, it was marketing, uh, PR, uh, whatever you want to say, whatever word you want to use. It was just a better way to present the show after the the tragedies of nine 11. And we were very involved in, in the nine 11, uh, situation as far as recognizing it, honoring the, uh, the first responders and all those type things. Uh, I think it's a smart move. And I don't, and I don't know that anybody had any resistance whatsoever. Cause let's be honest about it. Armageddon didn't have like WrestleMania name identity, right? It was just another gimmick name. And so if you can make it better, then why not? Well, JR, we've made it. It's December 9th, 2001. It's vengeance. It takes place San Diego sports arena in front of 11,800 fans who paid $550,580 plus another hundred thousand dollars in merchandise, which Meltzer points out are all records in San Diego at that time. So big business here. Yeah. Good. Good night at the office for everybody. So some shirts and, uh, so a lot of tickets. I remember that being a really, uh, uh, fun crowd. Uh, they just seem to be full of energy and that means so much to the live audience means so much to the performers in every area. I don't care if you're a handheld cameraman or what you're doing, uh, that, that, that enthusiasm builds momentum and it, a momentum creates adrenaline and there's no substitute for adrenaline whatsoever, but it was a good, it was a good house. And, and San Diego was at one of those markets that it could be feast or famine sometimes. Uh, so, and that we got a little feast out of this one. Well, the show is somewhat well received by the wrestling observer readers. It get, they give it 47% thumbs up, 15% thumbs down and 37% thumbs in the middle. And it opens up with Vincent Kennedy McMahon shredding his way down to the ring, cutting a promo. And he's interrupted by Ric Flair, who then introduces the first match. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.